Right now, we are at Dulles International Airport, getting ready to fly to Mexico, um, participate in the final round of races for the Lorenzo Racing School, which I'm excited for. I've never been, it's my first time. It's first time ever racing against all girls, first time racing in Mexico, on this bike, a new track, so it's gonna be fun. Three countries in one month, pretty excited. for GP Mexico look, school. That's what we're doing. Look at me. <laughs> There's always a certain amount of pressure or expectation a rider puts on themselves, but then it's also about the competition. I'd always want to push myself to perform to the best of my abilities to what I've learned from training and seat time and everything else and apply it. Use all the background and seat time towards this. But it's also a lot of challenges that someone like myself would face versus the other competitors that have been here, having to learn the track, the tires, the bike, and everything in such a short period of time. I expect myself to do the best that I can, but realistically, I have to come in knowing that my competition is more familiar than I am. I just came back from Ireland, Northern Ireland, less than two weeks ago. That was my first time racing in Ireland as well. Um, lots of opportunities this year. An amazing experience. Same situation, new track, new tires, new bike. I was able to meet a lot of really amazing people. You know, solidify plans with the team that I raced with to continue racing for them next year. Go back, do some more circuits, try some road courses, you know, fingers crossed, everything goes well. Um, just waiting for the AMA schedule to be released before we can make any definitive plans. But then also building on that relationship, hopefully bringing some of the Irish racers over to America for them to race here for the first time. And my coach taught me is you can't really have a goal until you go out and ride the bike. And then when I come back in, I'll be able to assess either things I like, things I didn't like, what I want to change or try, and, and work on some stuff. So until I come back in, well, I guess we should have to see. Let's start one full on, like this, right here. Six. You got six here. Down. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know if it's right though. Come down here. Yeah, you can do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to. I don't know if it's right though. Come down here. And then six here. Okay. Then down no, one, six. this. No. See? Because you need the, the ah, drive okay, to get okay. out right here. Okay. So fifth, you go back up to six. Two. And then here you go down two. Yeah, yeah okay. this, the four. First session was good. You got to go out and um, ride the Pulsar 200 bikes that we were on, that all the girls were on. Um, learning the power band of it was a little interesting. You definitely need to be really, really high in the relevator to get any kind of pull out of it. There was some debris on the track, but it was good to go out there and ride. All in all, the bike is fun. It, it is a fun bike. It's a good teaching tool. So it's like similar to the SV650s that I ride at home. If you're not smooth, if you don't shift well, if you don't brake good and get on the gas right, the bike will emphasize all your mistakes. It's not set up to race. So it's, you really gotta, you gotta be smooth. That's the key word for the weekend, is smooth. <laughs> Today was a lot of fun. I was able to ride. 
on the circuit for the first time and able to ride the bike, tires, meet a lot of the people that were here that are involved with the process of getting me over. As soon as you eliminate one problem, more arise. So uh, just evaluating the motorcycle and the track itself and learning how I need to get faster and learning what it is I need to do. And tomorrow I get a warm up and qualifying session and then race Sunday. So there's a lot going in my mind right now. I'm having issues with my bike. And nobody speaks English. The feeling ain't appealing, but it gets better with time. As soon enough, it's in your heart is in the latest sense of pride. Black and brown people on and off the block. I debt to five. Come on, let's rock. Y'all could